All right, guys and girls. Today, um, we're gonna go over some basics on uh, seat repair. As you can see here, this uh, plywood is no more. So it needs to get swapped out. Really easy to do. Um, just to kick things off here, I'll show you some things you're gonna need. Uh, marine grade plywood, stainless steel staples, pencil, needle nose, Phillips. Um, I'm using Phillips because I have those little guys I gotta remove. Those are kind of the basics here. Uh, a lot of people watching this video are probably gonna want to go the cheap route, meaning they're gonna wanna go to Home Depot and get some um, you know, birch or some uh, plywood from there. Don't do it. Um, I've seen some people uh, like on uh, YouTube that use just standard plywood and then they resin it. Uh, trust me, if you're watching my channel, I'll tell, I'll, I'm gonna shoot you straight here. If you take birch or any, any wood from Home Depot and you resin it and you stick it in water, eventually it will fail. Um, this wood, I'll stand by it. I've had this wood uh, in pieces laying on the ground for years now. In fact, here, let, let me go, um, I'm in the backyard now. Let me, let's go look around for some uh, marine grade plywood that I've just left on the ground for years. And let's, let's go take a look at what it looks like. So let's take a look here. Here's a piece I stumbled upon the other day. Take a look at this. This is some uh, marine grade plywood. This has been here for years. <laughs> I was cutting out something for a speaker box quite some time ago. But you can see this, this actually has a, um, a slight layer of resin on top. With marine grade, you really don't need it. But I mean, like I said, this has been uh, literally right there uh, for years and it's, it's still held up. You're not gonna find that with uh, regular plywood, all right? Here's some other plywoods here that I've uh, kind of stored up over the years here just for testing like today. Um, here is what's on the table right now. This is um, three quarter inch marine grade plywood. This is the uh, Aquatech. This actually has a layer of uh, resin on it. And you can see this has been on the ground for a long time. Real long time, I'm telling you. Uh, three freezes, uh, tons of water, you name it. Stuff's great. This is uh, marine grade plywood from the early 90s. It's pretty good. It's only, uh, looks like three ply. As you can see here with Aquatech, it's a lot more than that. But yeah, so anyway, let's go back to our uh, bench. Okay, so everyone's project's gonna vary a little bit. Um, one thing to note here is the manufacturer used um, steel staples, and as you can see, there's actually literally nothing left. Now, um, at the end of this season, this is all going to get reupholstered anyway. So what I'm going to do just for the purpose of this video is I'm going to remove the remnants of whatever staples are in here. Which, uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking there are no staples. I think they're all, yeah, how about that? I mean, there, there were staples at one point, but they're, they're not there anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and take these uh, screws out. See what's underneath here. So what made things interesting here is I was, really wasn't unscrewing the um, the vinyl from the wood. It was more just kind of unscrewing it out of the the vinyl itself. That's really that, all that was holding it. But look here. Ooh, it's bad. Even with these little holes that they cut to kind of help water drain, still didn't do much good. Let's go ahead and, and do this. This is actually still wet. It's pretty terrible. Like I said, we're gonna save. We're gonna save that as bad as it looks. Like I said, this is uh. 
we're gonna reuse that just for now um, so this is actually gonna be my template that I'm gonna use uh, I need to build up a, a stand here for some other purposes here but but anyway um, for this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as a template you can also measure this but you know we have the wood here and this is relatively the same shape that I want to use so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over uh, to our marine grid I have this this piece here and if you know anything about marine grade uh, plywood you know it's very very expensive so I save every bit of it all right let's see if it'll fit on this piece here looks like it's a little too short so let's go ahead and turn it sideways here all right pretty good so I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take my pencil I have a straight edge where I was going to, uh, to mark this a little differently, but no sense in doing that, like I said. I'll just trace around here. All right, so there you go. See our little mark here. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna dust that off and I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, saw and cut this. Okay, pretty good, huh? Marine grade plywood, only way to go, I'm telling you, here's the old stuff. Start, still wet, watch. Sit on that, and you can see it leaves little spots on it. So anyway, you notice on this one they drill these little holes here so if water gets in there, it's got a way to drain. Um, I'm probably not going to do that on this uh, just because stuff's awesome and I don't feel like I do need to do that and I don't feel like it's it's going to help it. Like I said, this stuff can get wet, stay wet, um, not going to hurt it. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put the fabric back on and uh, we'll get that stapler moving too. Okay, so just to remind everybody, uh, at the end of the season, I am going to reupholster this, so I'm not going to try to jam as many staples as I can in this. It's just going to be, uh, you know, get me through the summer. Um, so let's shoot over here. We got our staple gun and our stainless steel uh, staples. Those are tough to find if you're going to go on uh, your local store uh, or go to your local store. Good luck trying to find those. Um, whatever you do, don't put your regular steel ones in there. They're going to end up like this over time. So anyway, we do it right. We're going to do stainless steel. And here in a few months, we'll take this apart again and redo the upholstery. But, you know, wood will be good uh, at that point. So we're just going to fold everything back over and uh, start shooting a few staples in. Probably not a bunch, but uh, enough to, to uh, hold this. Okay. So you see uh, stapling it. Pretty easy. Same size uh, wood that we used originally. So... We just restaple it. Like I said, I didn't want to go crazy because I'm gonna I'm gonna end up pulling this off uh, in a few months. But I did have issues with this driver's seat flying apart. And uh, if you can't drive your boat, then what's the point of uh, you know being able to use it? So this is something that I had to put together pretty quick here. Um, so I figured, you know, why don't I show you how I do it uh, efficiently, quick. Just uh, just remember, like I said, even though I'm doing this quickly, it doesn't mean I'm cutting corners here. We still got st stainless steel and marine grade plywood. There's nothing wrong about this except for the fact that I'm using the old gross looking rusty vinyl. All right, so let's put the uh, this little side skirt back around it. Okay. Looks nice, all the stainless steel's back in. All right, so all I'm going to do now, as you can see where the mounting holes were originally here, all I'm going to do is just drill these out and just tap them out because they do go directly through the seat. And then these little guys over here where the actual chair mounts to it. So, yeah, that's the, uh, the process there in a nutshell. All right, so um, I went ahead and drilled out these holes because I'm going to go ahead and mount this thing back on 
and decided to make this video a little bit longer because this is actually a pretty good tutorial. Um, but yeah, let's, um, let's go ahead and mount this back on the actual chair so you can see what that looks like. All right, so here's the chair itself. You can see more steel staples that they use. Uh, the little inserts in here look like those are uh, they're not rusted out. I imagine they're probably steel as well. So uh, these were threaded in with these little guys. You notice there's some sort of uh, corrosion on this one as well, and that's just from all the rust. I actually checked these out already, and they're um, these are in fact stainless. So we're going to reuse them, but I will um, coat them in some never sees uh, before we uh, install them. So. All right, well, let's do that next. Uh, never sees, and then I'm going to install this guy back on there. Okay, so you can see here, brand new base. This thing was sad. It was in real sad shape uh, before. So we're going to get another. We're going to get another little season out of it before it ends up getting reupholstered. So, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you're in a hurry, you know, you don't want to take your boat down to send it off to an upholstery uh, person, you know, it's the way to do it. Uh, so anyway, I hope you liked the video, as always. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and as always, have a good one. Take it easy.